I think that the question with regard to the handicapping of cardiology in comparison to those 50% of people uh, reflects an accurate evaluation of the current status. And that importantly is related to what in fact this organization is about, the identification of the vulnerable plaque. I do think that that would be the earliest stage uh, other than primary prevention of anything occurring from an atherosclerotic perspective at which we could operate in a way that would affect uh, a lowering of that statistic. Uh, the plaque vulnerability, of course, is what leads to a substantial amount uh, of those, those early uh, sudden cardiac events. And, of course, the subpopulation of those events is the sudden cardiac death. Although I think it's also important to think about the sudden cardiac death aspect, as has been widely discussed, especially recently, with regard to the deploying of AICDs and, and other uh, uh, phenomena of that nature, thus to treat the, the cardiac death aspect. Clearly, an earlier aspect is, is recognizing the vulnerable plaque, the rupture uh, or erosion of which leads to this uh, issue that there's any ischemia at all. So the real question becomes, can we identify some sort of way of recognizing when that is about to happen? either in one or in more areas of the arterial wall. I think there are two aspects of cardiology research that are going to be very important in uh, leading to that identification and potential for treatment. The first one I would identify is non-invasive imaging modalities or minimally invasive. Certainly minimally invasive modalities such as thermography and others that have been uh, beautifully developed uh, even to date to identify a potential area of vulnerability will be important. But I think where the real future will lie is if when we can identify uh, either through um, uh, specific pulse sequences and energy detection modalities, um, the, uh, uh, the uh, temperature-based or other kind of alterations, heterogeneity in the vascular wall in a fully non-invasive way. I think that is really feasible and I think that is the future of cardiac diagnostics from an anatomic perspective. Now having addressed the anatomic perspective, I think it's also uh, critical that we look at the physiology. Um, I think the physiology of the lesion is likely to be reflected and perhaps reflective of uh, areas in the body other than the lesion itself. And by what, I, what I mean by that is the existence of a likelihood of circulating biomarkers that could reflect a status uh, of the potential for plaque rupture over time. Um, that could be a transient effect that we would notice, or it could be that even over time perhaps there would be something that will change in a cumulative fashion, something like a uh, hemoglobin A1C for inflammation, if you will, something of that nature. And, and I, I imagine that there should be biomarkers uh, that would reflect that potential for vulnerability that would allow us to stratify patient populations for that possibility of, of plaque rupture.